bit of a bait there. You were hoping for it. Yeah, I was. And it, it just wasn't there. Oh, well. Good shot from Diha at the start of this round. Manisa's has pushed through B. This could be a problem. Mouse gets a kill of his own. These Deegs are doing the damage right now. Math End will clear this angle. Taz is done for. Free Fire comes in. He actually does some damage there. Taz makes it close. And Math End will go down. This is working well for Devils 1. It's all up to XMS to win a 1v3. Well, XMS definitely has shown some skill. But Diha will drop him with the Deagle. No investment into this one. Should be an easy cleanup for the CTs on the B hold. Oh, well, Miles is going to be waiting for them to run in towards him. It's a triple kill. All three players fall into the M4A1S. And Sixer and Devo they might just hide behind the wall. Miles well, low HP. Can't really overextend for another kill, so we'll allow Rallin to get some action. He will get one. He's dropped one HP as well. The last player alive is Sixer. And he was finished off by Manis. They all get a go as quickly as possible. They got kits alive on four players, and utility is there as well. Rallon swings up towards the side. Twanu spotted towards Sandwich. He did get one kill before he fell, but that is all he'll get is Matt Hale and Sixer. Last two players alive for the T side. Sixer finds one. Matt Hale onto the other, but the defuse is coming in. Taz is sticking this. Matt Hale swings, and he will pick it up. It's two for him and four for LDLC. So all on Diha. They're all so low. So this actually is a possibility for if he gets one or two kills very quick here. Problem is, they aren't going to peek him. They're just going to hide. They're going to keep the advantages. There's the push through the window. Second kill coming in. But the third was just too much. Oh, Rallon will take that aggression you were talking about. But Sixer, ready, lying in wait, will give his team the equalizing frag in the round. It's into a three versus three. But with 30 seconds left, LDLC will be forced to commit towards B. And there are two CTs ready on the hold. One of them is Diha pushing in for the flank. And in comes that flank. Good shot from Sixer. But he's got to do more to open up this bomb site. And Devo Devek is very far behind him. Sixer starting to move forwards as he finds another kill. He is making the difference throughout this map. Bomb goes down. And Manise is left in a one on two. Yeah. Yeah, Sixers had a lot of impact, and he will finish off the quad kill. Got to really rely on getting the kills. You've got to favor them in this scenario because they've got the better weapons. We'll move in towards it. It's a long-range fight that will be had against Twanu inside of CT. But going into A might be a bit of a problem. We're currently three players here as they move on in for the CT side. One in the ramp. They might not expect Mad Hen to be there. But D has come through the window. It's Mines picking up the shot on the XMS. But XMS and Mad Hen, they're going to chime together. Two kills coming in. It's on Rallon and D had to try and pull it back for the pause. And LDLC are just holding on. Hiding behind the corners. Twanu picks up a kill on the sky. It's all on D hat And he's finished off as well. Oh, Twanu wrapping back. Try and hit the shot, but it goes into the floor. Bomb getting planted on default. The time takes away. David Vec looks back towards it. Taz able to pick up the headshot. The Sixer is spamming away, trying to pick up Taz. He eventually will. And my only 8 HP stands between them. It's Mars on the ramp. There's the first headshot in the corner, but Twanu hits it right back. Incredible stuff from Twanu. Finding the opening kill on the AWP. Switches out to the rifle for the final one. Man who has been hitting the shot so far. Got to keep that up here as this is a very important line for LDLC. And it's going to be an A execute. And they've currently got four players over here, Alex. So this could really work for the Frenchman. Oh, yeah, they're going to be delighted with this. LDLC are so ready on the A site hold. Mathen is the first to go down. There's no opportunity for the trade. Nades following up towards the site. XMS trying to hold alongside Devo Devek, but the kills keep on coming. LDLC get destroyed on the A site. Sixer manages to drop the bomb, but it's just too little too late. Twanu's got nothing to do in the one on four. Paz will start to take the bomb in towards Connector. Mouse is in from Palace. This is a pretty good position to try and make a play from. He can just try and take an aim fight. And there it is. He gets the headshot he was looking for. Another kill comes in. Devils are right back in this round. But a good shot from Twanu keeps Devils honest. The bomb will be planted though. And this gives Devils a real chance at this round. They will be happy with this. Well, flash by goes in. There's Twanu. Rallin able to double up. It's on Devodovac in a 1v2. Trying to come back from LDLC and what a comeback this has been into the round for Devils. And that they should be able to pick this up as well. The Devon Event walks right into the crosshair. The waiting arms of Rowland. Yeah, well, it's all about piecing it together now, not making a mistake, threading the needle. 
They will touch the Moldov towards Connector X. Mets knows one's close, and he will just fall, but he'll be dropped by Rallon. Great stuff. It's Sixer and Devon Devac who have to pull off a 2v5 to save LDLC. It's all on Sixer, 1v5, and I just don't see a way in which he does this. He will be spotted, he will be dropped, and it will be 16-14 to the Devils 1 team. That's the first time I've seen this team play under the new banner, and they perform very well indeed. That is their first step to victory, I suppose. Malz is currently holding in towards ramp. All seem to have gained some control towards outside as Rallon nearly kills his teammate. The kills come in. Falls by two entries, and this could be a problem for the CTs. Rallon replies with one of his own, but falls are in pretty decent shape. Well, all the action happening off camera is the auto shotgun of Taz has picked up a kill on the Jerry, Marzinho and Taz. The 2v1. And will be the kill, the pickup from Taz again. Many chances for the kill. Z-Power starting to sneak his way forwards, looking for the opening, but he is caught off guard. Diha down from hell, gets a couple of kills in towards Secret. Really well played as he finds a third. Diha is doing the damage in this round. Finally, the trades come through, but Devil's One hold the man advantage. Time left really to make any mistakes here. At this point, Forge there's not even enough time to get the bomb planted. It's all over. Face crack will get one kill, but he's running back into a day. He will get a second kill. And oh my goodness, actually there's enough time for the plant, Alex. Out of nowhere. Face crack is in 0-1v1 and the boss planted. Looking off towards me and my senior has been spotted. Face crack takes the flash, takes the fight. Low HP. We'll have to hide back inside a mini. Marzinho is moving up, knows exactly where he is as the spam comes on in. But he's just playing the time here. Running around, Fierce Crack. That Mortal preventing him from peeking, but Marzinho has tapped the bomb. Fierce Crack does not fall for it, and perfect for him. Marzinho is actually not sticking it. This is absolutely incredible. Fierce Crack somehow has done this. Now Marzinho is going to try and tap the bomb. Fierce Crack walks out of the door and finished off. Enough time to get the defuse, but a valiant effort from Fierce Crack. Very, very close indeed. Unfortunately, face crack on the opening fight. Rallon this time taking the opening on towards Z power without taking a single point of damage. Second kill comes in. Maus gets one of his own. Those two are really doing a lot of work on the scoreboard right now. Both Maus and Rallon up there at eight kills each. Uh, sprinting towards Marzinho. Or Multitude of players, he will get two of the Larish was uh was the one man that stood up punch punched but delicate push with your finger. But it will be a retake scenario. Fizz crack gets the first, but it's really a one and done angle, but make it two as he gets two kills. Z Par helped him. It's all on Taz into the 1v1. Z Par gives away his position again. He was already known, but could have been done towards the double doors and Taz. Oh, this is perfect. Spots the info and Taz is gonna have to close the door. Finally drop Z Par. And it was just a little nuisance, you know, he had HP, if he had slightly higher, perhaps he would have survived. Yeah. Rallon's gonna make his way onto the site, but Face Crack is gonna drop oh. him. The kills all come through for Devil's so Soul, what an incredible flurry of frags. And it's all on Flit in a 1v4, the pistol will go in favour of the poles. Unless Flit has some random diffuse kit that we've never seen before. And incredible headshots need to come in. He doesn't have a diffuse kit. He got one headshot, and uh, he might just be headshotted himself here. There's multitudes of players on the T side are looking for him. There's a headshot back. Flick gets that one. Not enough time really to to waste, and he will get another kill. Gets Taz is finished off. That's a hit, but he just doesn't have the time. And the, the the kit was dropped on the site, which actually gave him somewhat of a chance there. Logan did the red one. Perhaps that means they're angry. I believe it was white on the opening matchup, but it's all red. No, Alex. They're angry. They want some success here, and it will be split. Dropping D-Hat. Second, making a third, and Face Crack gets one with the auto shotgun. What a cleanup there from Forge. Burning away the single door. 40 seconds on the clock. Here comes the push. Rowan. And we'll pick up Jerry, Flourish and Face Crack to find two kills back. It is all on Taz, Manise and Rowan to try and win this, but Zipar has killed himself. It's all on Taz, gets one kill, but they know exactly where he is. And so that's where problems can arise as Flit and Face Crack only need one kill. 
The closer it was the side. Um, Ham tries to bait them into the open. That's the first headshot. Not aware where the second player is. He's going to walk around the corner. Low HP. Taz wins the clutch. It's a triple kill and it's 14 for Devils. Well, they might close it out now. Traders come in already. Dihar gives his team the man advantage and he's made it even better. Gets the second opening. Let's try to move forwards. The face crack has found one. Taz nearly caught off guard, but he looks back at Hutz just at the right time. And the bomb has been dropped. Maybe that gives Facecrack a chance. Taz is isolated on the site, so he needs to stay alive and allow Manis to get into position. Trying to use that crack in the box, and there it is. Taz takes the fight, wins it for his team, and they get over the line with a 16-9 scoreline. Yeah, let's go. I ain't the first with the curse, with the thirst that I wanna be better, not worse. Man, it hurts. I'm on this earth with my words, and I put them all together in cert, cause I wanna have worth. Working hella hard till they put me in the dirt. Gonna go far, man, listen to my words. Gonna be a star, man, life's like a blur when you're working this hard.